When we went for our government-subsidised dinner a few weeks ago, I found myself looking out at the empty streets in the centre of town, how scary and strange the emptiness was. And Amy leaned across to me and simply said, It's August. Edinburgh in August should be full of more people than should logically be able to fit in a city at one time. It should crackle with the anticipation. It should be a time and a place for impulse buying late night tickets to comedians you've never heard of, for long afternoons and extremely late nights, for bumping into old friends and meeting new ones, of finding things that you love and experiencing them for the first time. It is, and always should be, a festival, but it isn't this year. Maybe thinking about these things that we're all missing out on, thinking about the energy of humans gathering together all in one place, is a form of torture. It's just a way of making us feel the absence of all the things that we're missing out on. But maybe it's a reminder that every sacrifice that we make now is because of what we want to get back to. We miss it so much, so we choose to miss it for a while, so that it might come back when things are safer. We stay inside in our households because we want to get back outside later. Thanks for watching. DFTBA.